it is really, really bad out here. And it is honestly something very crazy to witness, especially when not too long ago, we were living in a time to where women were pretty much taking for granted a lot of the adoration and attention and love and support and the chase, if you will, that men were giving unto women, right? We got very comfortable with men pretty much being there whenever we needed them to be. Um, if I need somebody to help me out, a man is only one phone call away. You know, if I needed somebody to feed me, a man is only one, hey, big head text message away. Um, if I needed a shoulder to cry on, you know, I can just dig in my friend zone and find some nice guy, good guy to hear what I have to say and pretty much cheer me up so that I can go back into the streets and deal with those no good guys that I really am accustomed to and that I really like, you know, and like we already touched base on in previous dope discussions, you know, the friend zones are actually dried up today as well. So all the way around, we're being presented with a new world that we as women are really not um, feeling very accepted in or we're not feeling very good about, and it is our own doing. Let's start there. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. All of this mess that we are now looking around at and complaining about is due to our own hands. We were the ones out here taking advantage of good quality men, thinking that they would always be available to us, thinking that they would always be there to be used up and discarded of. We were the ones being very much so entitled, ego driven, to the point to where a lot of men snapped out of that and threw us away. Now we're begging for those same men that we, again, really took for granted. We're now begging for those men to give us attention, give us adoration, give us love, give us the D. We are. Yeah, y'all, it's that bad. It's that bad to where now women are being the, what what they say? The, the savages, the predators that are telling men to drop their draws. It's that bad out here. In all ways, a lot of men cut access off to them. And it was for their own good and for their own protection. Women are now feeling that we don't like it. Again, ladies, we overplayed our hands and we took advantage and took for granted what these men were doing for us. Now they see their faults and their flaws and the men are cleaning it up. Now we are in a position to where we want to be good women and we want to be fair and honest and balanced and all of that. But the men are just done and checked out. And ultimately the men don't care. Men no longer care about you being a good woman. They no longer care about you doing right by them. They no longer care about, you know, having families and relationships. And it's because we've already exposed who we are. And a lot of us just being honest, we're not good people. Let me just put it plain. Trash. And even if, once again, you are trying to turn over a new leaf and show and prove that you are different and you're not the same woman that, you know, was selfish and greedy and needy. Men just don't care. They don't want to take that type of gamble or risk. And quite honestly, a lot of them are very comfortable with being alone. Do I like that? No, because I know how beautiful it can be when a man and a woman comes together. 
you know, and they both have genuine, sincere love for one another. You know, I know how we can really make each other's lives more enjoyable, easier, happier, more at peace. I know what that is. I'm a part of something like that. I have a beautiful divine union and marriage with my husband. I would love for more people to be able to experience what I'm experiencing, but I understand the times, I understand the climate, and I understand what a lot of men were being presented with in the past. And I can understand why a lot of men just don't want to take that type of risk, especially considering the odds that are against them. But again, ladies, we did this to ourselves. Let me share my screen with you all and get into um, this video that was actually sent over to me by one of my fellow uh, crown heads. Okay. Shout out to all of my subscribers. We call them crown heads. Salute to you all for, you know, sending me in a lot of um, links and topics to discuss that are very important to dive deeply into. And this right here is something that needs to be explored and talked about. Um, this young lady, I hope you all can see this. Can I blow this up some more? This young lady was um, pretty much venting about the fact that a lot of men are not giving you women attention. A lot of men are not pursuing a lot of you women. And it is because of, you know, what you all have been so accustomed to doing and getting away with in the past. And again, you over uh, played your hand. You exposed too much about your wickedness, you know, about your selfishness, you know, about your manipulative ways. And so, yeah, it's your own fault. You can't be mad at the men now for checking out and being done. You cannot be mad at the men now that you were the ones that pretty much did wrong by them. You can't be mad at somebody for walking away from you when you are the one that was doing them dirty. And that's essentially what this young lady in this video is talking about. We are living in a new time, a new place to where it is just men are different. Okay. Men are different. A lot of the weak men are waking up. A lot of the simp men are waking up. Um, and, and they're realizing they've been getting played. And a lot of men are now taking their power back by focusing on themselves their purpose, their business, their money, and they're prospering. And they're doing so without us as women. And we're feeling that and we don't like it. We're mad about it. But again, we did it to ourselves. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and play this video for you all because I feel like this young lady in this video really did drop a lot of gems and jewels. And I just wanna highlight it. And hopefully, you know, it can help women in the future to do better and ultimately not have to deal with this new cruel reality that we are faced with today. And again, it's by our own doing. But again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into this. There's a stat on Facebook and basically it says men are not obsessed with women like they used to be. Y'all don't find that kind of weird? And to be honest, no, I don't find that kind of weird because what exactly is there for men to be obsessed with in today's world? Women have left no room for imagination, none whatsoever. It's like your sense of entitlement is out of control. Your expectations are unrealistic. Y'all walk around showing your bodies half dressed, half exposed 24 seven, out smoking, drinking, partying 24 seven, on the scene 24 seven. A lot of y'all are not even coming with nothing to the table because you're too busy with your hand out trying to see what man got the next bag so he can sponsor your lifestyle to make you look like you're living a lifestyle to post on the internet. It's like a lot of y'all don't have common sense. A lot of y'all don't know how to hold a conversation. A lot of y'all don't have no originality about yourselves. Everybody is getting the same body. Everybody is getting the same hairstyle. Everybody looks the exact same. And it's like, y'all get that confused. Oh, well, men like that. No, men will fuck that. 
but men are not wiping that and they're not cuffing that. And I think y'all are starting to realize that. And then the first thing y'all want to say is, oh, well, they're gay. They're sassy. No, they're not. They're just tired of what you guys are presenting. And if y'all are here to give them free pussy, free looks and free everything they ain't got to work for, uh, why would they? But they're never going to take you serious. So it seems to me like a lot of y'all are now starting to realize that you're either losing value or have lost value from chasing attention. And now that's something that y'all got to deal with and y'all can't face that fact. Men love women that are exclusive, women that are put up, women that every man can't say he had or can have. Simple as that. Y'all, I need y'all right now to drop the 100 emojis, the crown emojis, the chocolate bar emojis for all these sweet bars you just dropped. I need y'all to do that right now because the good sis just went off. Do you understand me? She went off. So I need to see the 100s, the crowns. I need to see the chocolate bars, the salutes, the gems, the jewels, the diamonds. Y'all put all of those emojis in the comments right now because she just dropped it all. Okay. Now, I want to take it back and go through it bit by bit and, and give my take on it. But I wanted you all to hear it straight through without any interruptions, just so y'all can really um, grasp, uh, grasp what she was talking about. What she was talking about was how a lot of females have set themselves up for the okie doke, the ultimate failures. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and play it again. And again, while you're at it, like the video. All right. Share the video and subscribe. Let's play it again. I'm going to break it down for y'all. There's a stat on Facebook and basically it says men are not obsessed with women like they used to be. Y'all don't find that kind of weird? And to be honest, no, I don't find that kind of weird because what exactly is there for men to be obsessed with in today's world? Women have left no room for imagination, none whatsoever. It's like your sense of entitlement is out of control. Your expectations are unrealistic. Y'all walk around showing your bodies half dressed, half exposed 24 seven out smoking, drinking, partying 24 seven. Now, let's let's pause because I mean, she she just keeps going, you know, just dropping the gems and jewels. She just keeps going. So we got to pause her now. She said that she came across a post on Facebook to where it said, you know, men are no longer obsessed with women. And I believe I uh, previously had a dope discussion to where it was a guy that actually had a video talking about how men are no longer obsessed with women and how a lot of the men are weird. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, that brother in that video that was having that conversation, he came off as very weak to me, but I'm lit over there. But Nonetheless, that has been an ongoing topic of conversation to where uh, a lot of men are not giving women the attention or the validation that they used to give them, right? And she's saying she understands why that is. She said, women today leave no room for imagination. There's nothing to obsess over. Now, I'm going to be technical and real and say that I believe that nobody should be obsessing over anything or anybody. You know, obsession in and of, in of itself is problematic. You know, that means that it's an overindulgence of something that can be very unhealthy to be obsessed. Um, but nonetheless, we understand the concept. We get the gist of what is being said. What people are essentially saying is men are not out here in a strong pursuit for women of today, you know, it used to be a thing to where men would go after a woman that he really desires or wants to be with. Men would strive for relationships. They would strive for uh, families and even marriage. But now men are really in their nonchalant, you know, I don't really care bag. All I care about is making sure that for myself, I'm sufficient. For myself, I'm good. For myself that i'm stable you know um uh, because a lot of men have found peace in living a life that only involves themselves you know and a lot of women can say well y'all are being selfish and you know y'all are being this and the third but let's be honest the reason why a lot of men are responding in the ways they are responding is due to the way that they have 
um, been treated for so long. So we can't be mad at men for now being selfish, quote unquote, when for decades we were the entitled ones. We were the selfish ones. We were the ones talking about we were the prize and how the men need to be essentially kissing our behinds, even within the confines of a marriage or a relationship. We got to go there. Y'all like the video, show the video, and subscribe. Some real talk. We were so bad as women that even if we were in relationships and marriages and things of that sort, we were still conducting ourselves like it was all about us. We did not collaborate as a unit, as a team. The man does one, two, and three, and X, Y, and Z for me while I just sit back in my and rest in my femininity, aka rest in my laziness, and reap all the benefits and rewards of having a providing, prote protective, leading, teaching, loving man. What does he get in return? He just gets merely my presence. Right. I'm here. Right. So that's enough. So we were selfish even within our relationships. So we cannot be mad that now men are being selfish outside of relationships and they don't want one. They tried already. A lot of the men, they tried to do things the quote unquote right way that we wanted them to do it. Each time they got burned. You said you wanted a nice guy, good guy, a gentleman and all of that to wine and dine you, cash out on you, take care of you and your children, marry you. They did all of that. And a lot of those same men have zero, nothing to show for today. It was all in vain. The more that these men did for y'all that you requested, the worse you treated them. The more, like I keep saying, you took it for granted. You took advantage. Men scoped that out and peeped that out and said no more. So again, obsessed over you for what? That wasn't something to be proud about. And again, y'all like the video. Y'all notice some real talk. Men peep the game on the fact that the more that you do for a woman, the more that she demands, expects, and commands from you with no reciprocation and no appreciation. As a matter of fact, a lot of women would say, excuse me, a man is supposed to do these things for me because I am a woman, therefore I am the prize and it's supposed to be given. Doesn't matter what I do and what I don't do. A man is supposed to provide, protect, lead, teach, and ultimately kiss my behind. That's what, that's what a good man is supposed to do. That's what a real man does. So why, you know, praise a man for doing what he's supposed to do? And that's where we messed up. The men started to feel like they were being used, abused, and accused of things that they were not doing. Oh, yeah, you did that, but it's not enough. To the point now, a lot of men are being selfish. We cannot blame them because the whole time we were selfish while we were with them. So now that men want to operate on their own time, on their own dime, outside of relationships, you can't be mad at a, a single man for being selfish and protecting himself when you were that within the marriage when you were that within that relationship you can't you can't you can't do that man what else did she say she said a lot of y'all you know are just reckless showing everything now y'all already know your little big sis i like to you know have my my outfits you know what i mean my husband he's a a gym owner a personal trainer you know nutrition coach and everything and so you know I like to show off the results, amen. You know, this is this is the work of my husband, amen. Okay, but even within that, you know, I still have a level of classiness and respect and reservation, if you will, about myself. I'm not out here, you know, completely naked 
with nipple pasties and a thong on talking about, you know, I'm a classy woman and, you know, I'm bent over twerking, talking about, yeah, you know, I'm a real woman and men need to respect me because I'm a queen. No. I, and that's something even myself, I wish a lot of women would understand. You can be sexy. You can show off your curves, show off your body and all of that while still having a level of classiness to you while still not doing too much, while still not showing too much and leaving something to the imagination. You can go on Instagram right now for free. Do you understand me? You can go on Instagram right now for free and see everything. And I do mean everything. Y'all think because you put a pasty over it or something sheer over it that, you know, you can't see it. No, we see everything. Areolas, nipples, Booty butt cheeks, cracks, shit, everything. And so why would a, a man want to settle down with somebody to where everybody can see it, have access to it, and probably has smashed it already? She said that men like women that are exclusive, w women that a lot of men have not had access to and cannot have access to in that way. But for a lot of these chicks out here, you can, I'm telling you, you can go on your phone right now and see all you need to see for free. You didn't have to wine and dine her, take her on a date. You didn't have to talk to her, court her, nothing. You, it's, it's for free. So that is a factor. That is something to be discussed and explored about that. She also said a lot of you chicks are out here drinking, smoking, partying, club hopping. No man wants a woman like that. To where you're just loose and reckless. You are a liability at that point. You are putting not only yourself at risk, but you would also place my children, if I just so happen to have them with you at risk, and myself. Because I have to be out on the front lines protecting a reckless woman. That's silly on my end. Why get with a woman that does not even respect or care about herself? Because you got to know if she doesn't care about herself or respect herself, she's not going to do that for you. So men all the way, all the way around, just like, no, that's a hazard. Not doing that. Let's continue. Like the video, you all. Share the video and subscribe. Take it back a little bit. showing y'all bodies half dressed half exposed 24 7 out smoking drinking partying 24 7 on the scene 24 7 a lot of y'all are not even coming with nothing to the table because you're too busy with your hand out trying to see what man got the next bag so he can sponsor your lifestyle to make you look like you're living a lifestyle to post on the internet i'm telling you i'm telling you these chicks are broke can we go there for a second these chicks are broke bums they are the dusties women today are the dusties all the money that they accumulate or that they get it goes right back out the damn door why because a lot of these chicks are too busy trying to impress each other right oh she has a bust down lace front wig i gotta get me one that's longer than hers oh she has a botch bbl oh i gotta go and take all my money and go get me a better botch bbl oh she has the red bottom shoes well i gotta go and do this that the women are too busy competing amongst each other to where they are be they are becoming broke Men don't give a, a lot of the men are telling y'all to take off the damn wigs. So you can't even say, oh, well, I'm getting the wigs so I can get a man. The men don't like the wigs. As a matter of fact, let's take a, a survey right now. Fellas, put a two in the chat if you would prefer a woman to wear her natural hair as long as it's, you know, properly combed and done and taken care of. All right. And then put a one in the chat if you do like a nice wig, you know, a, a nice weave. Y'all let us know. But I, I guarantee MT, y'all, a lot of the men would prefer a woman with her natural hair that is properly groomed and taken care of over a wig. 
And a lot of y'all are out here taking better care of the wigs than your natural hair. As far as the natural bodies and stuff of that of that nature is concerned, a lot of y'all are out here getting these botched BBLs to compete with other women. The men they prefer your ass go to the gym. Let's be clear. The men want y'all to go and do squats with the weights, not lay on somebody's table and get fat sucked out of your damn neck and armpits and, and placing your behind. They don't want that. Cause you gotta have upkeep with that that costs money and did you know ladies that once you get all of these botched bbls and surgeries that you're still gonna have to go to the gym anyway so you might as well just do it the cheapest route the cheapest route and take the cheapest way which is to take your ass to the gym the healthiest way as well the safest way as well i'm telling y'all I'm on the scenes. I see what my brothers are saying to me. They're, they're telling me, hey, sis, we prefer this. We like this. We like that. And y'all are doing the exact opposite. And then y'all are complaining that men are not giving y'all attention. They already told you they don't like women like that. So why would they pay attention to her? If I don't like women with botched BBL bodies, if I don't like women with you know lace front wigs and all this other nonsense and these long ridiculous nails and these outrageous you know lashes and makeup and clown makeup if i don't like a woman like that and i'm telling you i don't prefer a woman like that why would you think that i would look at it and give it attention and validate it i'm not doing that real quality top tier men they're not doing that now you will have some smokies out here okay hold on let's pull it up for y'all now you will have smoky smoky will love to knock down a botch bbl right smoky don't mind your botch bbl you think that's sexy right he don't mind you know your, your vampire in brooklyn wet and wavy wig he don't mind you know your Vivica Fox face fillers. You know, he don't mind the fact that when you take off that lace front vampire in Brooklyn wig with the Lord Farquaad uh, Vallée, that it looks like Cynthia underneath that. He don't mind. He think the Bosch booty is sexy. So, yeah. <laughs> Smokey, he'll take whatever you gonna give. Because he ain't got nothing anyway. Right? He don't mind the bulldog Keisha coming through like, yeah, I'm a real woman. I'm a boss. Bow down to me. He don't mind that. He don't mind the jinx look. Okay. But the men that y'all actually want attention from, that y'all actually want to settle down with, they do care. And so I have to co-sign the good sis when she is saying you know, like y'all give men absolutely nothing to obsess over. You do everything that is the opposite of what they're looking for. And that's just facts. But let's continue. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. So he could sponsor your lifestyle to make you look like you're living a lifestyle to post on the internet. Yeah, and, and I, I want to highlight that as well. A lot of y'all are like the Grow Sisters. Your hand is just out. Give me, give me, give me. Give me all your money so that I can flex on Instagram and try to compete and impress these other real women because I got an image to uphold. I got an image to maintain. Like, I'm really broke, but if you can just take care of me, mm-hmm, so I can look like I got the money, then that's what I need. And if you ain't got it, I don't want it. And that's trash. And they are trash. So again, ma'am, why are y'all really thinking that men are going to obsess over broke bummy bums with a handout? Just so they can impress strangers. Girl, if you don't go sit down, let's continue. Like the video. 
It's like a lot of y'all don't have common sense. A lot of y'all don't know how to hold a conversation. A lot of y'all don't have no originality about yourselves. Everybody is getting the same body. Everybody is getting the same hairstyle. Everybody looks the exact same. That is facts. That is bars. Do y'all know how many... And I, I think it's because a lot of these chicks are just so accustomed or were so accustomed to dealing with, you know, guys that did not have a lot of standards for themselves. And I keep saying that we're dealing with a new breed of men because we are, you know, not too long ago, all you had to do was have, you know, a pretty face, small waist, you know, fat ass. And then the men, you know, they would give you a pass. But now... Men are looking for women that have more to offer than just the physical, you know? Now, I'm not going to lie. Are men physical creatures? Yes. You know, men like things that are nice to look at and nice to, you know, grip, you know? They love that. I'm not going to lie about that. However, men want a deeper connection, you know? They want women that they can actually talk to and relate to and bond with. You know, and a lot of y'all are so ran through, you can't even pair bond with men on any level, you know? So I don't think that a lot of women are accustomed to men um, having standards that are anything outside of the physical. So they're, they're not knowing how to have a conversation with the man and, you know, provoke thought. They're not knowing how to um, stimulate a man mentally. Um, they're not knowing how to, uh, joke around with a man even, you know, or carry even basic conversations. It's that bad. And a lot of men are looking for that. They're looking for women that have the holistic, uh, characteristics that they're looking for in a woman. So not only are you fine, but you're also, um, a cool down to earth type of woman that I can relate to and talk to, you know? I'm looking for all, I'm looking for the package of a woman. Does she have to be perfect? No, but a lot of us are not even hitting on the basic qualities that a lot of men are looking for. And so that's why they're not giving you the attention that you're seeking. That's why they're not obsessed over you. She also went on to say that a lot of y'all are the exact same. A lot of y'all are copy and paste. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. You are y'all all got the same damn wigs. Y'all all got the same damn nails. Y'all all got the same damn clown ass makeup. Like, it's all the same. So, all the way around, you're not giving a man something that he feels is unique. That he feels that he really can sink his teeth into and really invest into. I can get you a dime a dozen. So, why settle for this one when she's going to give you this exact same treatment as all the rest of them and the treatment that you're going to receive is going to be bottom feeder it's going to be bottom of the barrel you know and so that's a valid point as well but let's continue and y'all like the video show the video and subscribe and it's like y'all get that confused oh well men like that no men will fuck that but men are not wiping that and they're not cuffing that and i think y'all are starting to realize that hold on i gotta correct her though we're dealing in a new time and a new day and age to where men are not effing that. Smokey is effing that. Okay? Men today have raised their standard and raised the bar so much so they are not even penetrating a female that is not on their level. And when I say on their level, I'm talking about a woman that is fit, feminine, friendly, submissive, cooperative, in shape respectable, respectful. Men today, they are protecting themselves from women that are not on their level. And so are they penetrating y'all? No. No. Smokey will though. Okay. Let, let's correct that. Let's continue. Let her finish it off. And then the first thing y'all want to say is, oh, well, they're gay. They're sassy. No, they're not. They're just tired of what you guys are presenting. And if y'all are here to give them free pussy, free looks, and free everything they ain't got to work for, uh, why would they? But they're never going to take you serious. So it seems to me like a lot of y'all are now starting to realize that you're either losing value or have lost value from chasing attention. And now that's something that y'all got to deal with and y'all can't face that fact. Men love women that are exclusive, women that are put up, women that every man can't say he had or can't have. 
Simple as that. Now, she dropped a lot of gems and jewels and bars. Okay, she really did. And something else I think that's important to highlight is the fact that, you know, and she, she also said this. When a man has standards and when a man um, has boundaries and things of that sort, a lot of these women today are so not used to rejection that they will try to write that man off and they will try to insult him by calling him sassy or gay or lame or something got to be wrong with him. And it's all because, again, like they're not used to men rejecting them in that way. No, ladies, the men are not sassy today. They're just not tolerating or settling. And y'all not used to that. Okay. Every time a man has boundaries and standards, y'all classify him as sassy. No, ma'am. You're just not classy. You're just not the standard. You're just being rejected. That's it. You know, you're just dealing with a new breed of men. To where if you're not coming correct, they will reject. That's what it is, you know. And so I thought it was also important to highlight that. Um, fellas, don't let these females gaslight you. Don't let them insult you and, you know, essentially make you feel bad about raising the bar and raising your standards. You are doing, you all are doing a great job, you know, by having standards now and by not giving these women a bunch of attention and validation that they do not deserve and do not need. You know, a lot of y'all are making these women have to uh, step their games up. And so I, I have to salute you men for that. But ladies, I'm going to tell y'all right now, you are the cause for what you exp are experiencing today. You are the reason behind why these men, you know, are rejecting you or, and are not obsessing over you or giving you attention or chasing you or pursuing you. You're the reason. You gave them every reason not to. So deal with it. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, do you agree with the young lady in the video? Do you disagree? I would love to know your thoughts and feedback down below. I look forward to seeing what you all have to say. But I did think it was uh, very important for us to highlight this. It is a new time. It is a new day and age. A lot of women are feeling the effects of men not caring. Okay. Men not chasing. Men not pursuing. Men not giving attention. At the very least, men used to give even the, the most ratchet, bottom of the barrel female attention if, if she was half naked, you know, if she was doing really wild, reckless things. Now men are turned off by that, repulsed by that, you know. And again, ladies, you can be sexy and show off your body and curves and all that, you know, without having to be trashy. That's the difference. A lot of y'all are confusing trashy with sexy. It's not the same thing, okay? So... Maybe if we step our games up, the men will start to give us attention again and they will start to pursue us again. But until then, we can't be mad at, at the results. Like, again, we did it to ourselves. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.